And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Okay, so here we have our nice JavaScript that we like so much. And we were at Free Code Camp again. This time we were doing a few more challenges because I find it extremely fun. So if you're struggling with this, or if you have already finished it, then feel free to watch on. But first try this on your own. Because if you're not going to try it on your own first, you might not learn anything. But if you want to watch me, I'm going to teach you anyways how to do it. So yeah. So let's go to algorithms. Oh yeah, and let me just show you what I already have. Because you guys probably want to see the, the code. So yeah, I actually did this video quite a few times before. And here is basically the process I did. And as you can see, this is the output we get. But it doesn't help me, i show you now. But you know, it works. I can just tell you that. Okay, so it says algorithm. Find the symmetric difference. Mathematical term symmetric difference, a negative triangle or a circle plus, is two sets of is two sets in the set of elements that are arbitrary that which are in either of the two sets but not in both. Basically what this means, a set is just an array. If you didn't take pure math, you know, a set is just an array, and basically a triangle just means uh, for example let's go here. This one exists in both arrays. So this one will not be returned in the new array. For example, this is the new array. So you can check, okay, one exists in both, two exists in both, three does not exist in both. So three and five and four. These two or these three does not exist in both, only exist in one of them. So this is what will be returned. The same as the x so here, a is 1, 2, 3, b is 2, 3, 4. So a triangle b is 1, 4, because 1 exists in a, but not in b. And 4 exists in b, but not in a. And 2 and 3 exists in both b and a, so 2 and 3 gets excluded. Symmetric differences is a binary operation, which means it operates on only two elements. So to evaluate the expression involving symmetric differences among three elements, A, triangle B, triangle C, I think that's delta, I'm not sure what that is called, you must complete the operation A, one, op or one operation at a time. Thus, for sets A and B above, and C, 2, comma, 3, A, triangle B, triangle C, so A, triangle B, and then triangle C. So 1, comma, 4, triangle 2, comma, 3, which will return 1, 2, 3, 4. Damn, difficulty, jeez. So yeah, this is a pretty difficult thing to understand if you read it the first time around, but the more you read it, the more it becomes a little bit more, you know, it explains itself a bit more, but it's quite difficult to understand. Basically, if I have to put in my terms that I understand, uh, you first compare A and B, and once you have compared them, you take what you have, you know, you, you take your little array that you have, and then you first compare with C. So you don't compare B with C or A with C, you compare AB that you return, so this will be AB with C, which is now uh, 1, wait, what, let's see, uh, which is now 2, comma 3, C is 2, comma 3. So you compare this, which is AB, AB, you know, with this, which is C. Because this one is A, this one is B, you compare them, you get AB. And then you compare AB with C. That's basically what it says if you have to be, speak it in my terms. Create a function that takes two or more arrays and returns an array of their symmetric difference. The returned array must contain only unique values, no duplicates. So you basically should return duplicates. Okay, so let's get started. Now what I basically showed you is we're going to be doing that and this is basically the output you get from let's see right here these are the ones we'll be testing out and here is basically the command we have to do if you also use sublime text you can just turn on or off word wrap how you feel it i like my word wrap so i'm going to turn that on okay now basically what we have to do first is the very first thing you have to do is you just got to do that because we're not going to do that, this is what's going to happen. We can save that and run our node script.js. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3. Now, what's going on here, you ask me? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 1, 2, 5. 
one one two five. It basically returns only the first, like it, as you see here, it returns whatever is given to you. So it just returns it directly. So it basically just returns this because it then takes in one argument and they put it into two separate arrays, not into one array. So you have to go dot 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 args. So you can get in as many arguments as you might need. Now if we were to do this, then it returns the actual arrays in one array. Oh, what do I do now? Whatever I did, I should not do that. I didn't know what I did, but I shouldn't do it. <laughs> that was very scary. Jeez, okay. So first, we have to create a variable. variable. We have to create an array, numbers. And in this array, it will just be empty. But this array will basically keep our unique value that we talked about. So in the first one, it will basically keep so let's see, 1 is there, 2 is there, 3, 4, 5. So this is basically... Jeez. So this is basically what we're going to be keeping in numbers, if you put it like that. Then we have to for or loop for each one of them. So you can either use a for loop or a for each loop, whichever floats your boat. For each loop so doesn't float my boat, so I'm not going to use a for each loop. So I'm just gonna use a for loop. Did it give you no it don't give you four and then we can okay. So for let i equals zero. Well i is less than yeah, then we wanna go args dot length length there there we go and then i i plus plus basically what this means is we're just going to loop through the outer array so if we go here we're going to loop through this array the, the outer one so it's going to have two indexes in this case and in this case it's going to have three indexes and then we're going to create another for loop let j equal zero while j is less than args at index i but length length I plus plus, I plus plus, you know, J plus plus, whoopsie, that's a big one. Okay, so basically this is just going to say, uh, this is I, you know, so this one's going to be I, then you're going to loop through I, which is 1, 2, 3, and then it's going to go, I is then going to become this, and then 1, 2, 5, 2, 1, 4. Now, this is where the code is going to become pretty complex. So first, we want to oh, I'll get out there. We want to create an if statement. Then we want to go if numbers dot index of, and then we want to go args i j. So it's going to take if numbers numbers. This one right here contains in the one that's right at now. So let's let's go to simple terms here. So this is numbers. So it's going to go through here, it's going to check okay one, one is there. Or one is not in there. So you can put one there. Then it's going to continue and it's going to check okay two to get the two there. And then it's going to check three, we're going to put three there. And then it's going to go to the next one. It's going to put five there. Then it's not going to put two there because we're going to skip that. So then it's going to put one there, and then it's going to not put one there because one is already in there. So then we're going to put four there because four does not exist yet. So that's basically what's going to put in there. There, well, why do I say it so weirdly? So if it is less than negative one, which means if it does not exist in numbers, then numbers dot push because we're going to push to the array push. And inside of the array, we're just going to push args at index i, and then at index j. Save that, and if we rerun this, and we return numbers now, not args anymore, numbers. And if we run this, oh, you know what? <laughs> not less than negative one should be zero because negative one basically means it doesn't exist. Zero or more means it does exist inside of the array. I don't know why I made that mistake. Oopsie. 
we run that now, now we get it, you see, 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, here the same, 1, 2, 5, 3, 4, and you know, continues like that. Now, if it does exist in numbers, and we see it again, we should remove it, because we don't want, if, if it exists in both, we don't want it, so it shouldn't exist in both of these arrays. So then we should go numbers dot shift, if I'm correct. Is it shift? No, 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 it's probably splice. Uh, numbers dot splice. And then you want to go uh, numbers dot index of. And we want to go arcs at index 1 at index j. And we want to go 1. So basically it's going to go into numbers and then it's going to say, okay, let's remove the one where the, f the number in the array is the same as the one we are trying to, or we're trying to insert. If they're the same, then we should remove it. That's basically what that says. So in this case, it's going to see, oh, one already exists, so we're just going to uh, remove that then. Oh, two already exists in here, so it's in both, so we're going to remove that. Three, four, five, okay, that's cool. So basically, now we have the first correct part. Mostly, it seems. So yeah, but this is not flawless, because if there are two of the same ones in the same array, this happens. That should not happen. This one should be free, the same as this one. So yeah, that is a problem. Now, how are we going to fix that? We're going to fix that by going let, and then scene, and we create a new array. This should be inside of the i4, because scene is basically going to refresh each time we go to a new array, because it's going to check if there's doubles. So then it's going to go at the bottom of the j loop, note the j loop, not the i loop, and it's going to go scene.push, and it's going to push whatever it just saw. In this case, it's going to be our rxij. It would actually be a good idea to put our rxij inside of its own variable now, because it's getting used a lot, you know? So, let's go and create another variable. Uh, we can call it args. No, we don't want to do that, because that's going to cause confusion. So let's go let temp, I'm going to use temp, and we're going to go rxij. So we're going to copy that, Control c put that right there, we should actually move this upwards to J, because J is going to update it continuously. And then instead of putting arcs there, we can put temp there now. So then it's not only less typing, but it's easier to read as well. But you don't need to do this, I just personally feel it's not a bad idea to do this. There we go. Nice. So now, what we can do, is we can now uh, make sure we're not inserting anything we shouldn't. So first off, inside here, we're going to go if scene.index of, and then we're going to go temp. So if in scene, if we see temp, so if it is more than negative one, so if it does exist inside of scene, then we shouldn't push it again, we should just continue. Continue basically just means it's going to be like, okay, I see continue. So let's skip everything here. Let's skip that and go back here. So they're going to skip it and continue with the next part of the code. And actually we can do the same here. We can just copy that and paste that there. Now, if we were to refresh, refresh, if we were to retry this, Suddenly, is it working? Let's see. So, here it should return 145. That's the very last one, 145. Here it should return, let's figure it out. So, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, no 3. So, it should have a 3 in it. And then it continues. So, then 5, it should have a 5 in it. And it should have a 4 in it. So, 5, 3, 4, 3, 5, 4, the same as the top one. But we check it out now. 354 in both. Okay, now I think we might have done it. Let's just copy this and 
paste it into our beautiful yeah let's try it out let's run it it found no errors okay so let's just go through it again to make sure you understand so first it creates a variable and the variable stores a value or an array this is the special array that gets sent back to us that should, we should return then it goes for for loop so it goes for loop that that's i you know so this be i would then be equal to zero so i and i is equal to zero and then once it here is here i would be equal to one then it creates another array which it resets each time it calls i which is scene and scene basically just makes sure that if we have duplicates it does not remove ones that is already there because if you don't have seen it's going to go here and it's going to see free so it's going to add free then it's going to remove free because now there's another free and we don't want freeze so that means there's probably more than one free which we don't want because if there's duplicate in the same array it's fine but if there's another free in this array then it's not fine okay okay so then once we have put scene there we can create another for loop and this for loop is going to loop through everything in i so one two three and then we're going to create a temp variable which is basically going to keep args i j inside of it because we're going to use temp a lot so it's nice to just keep it inside of a variable which would be easier to read but if you feel it's easier to read args i j then temp or whatever you call this variable i like to call it temp because it's just a temporary variable to me then go ahead by all means use a different variable name you already use this even then we're going to check if the numbers if the numbers array right here numbers array has the value that we're that we're looking at right now if it has one inside of it or not inside of it if it does not have one inside of it, because it's less than zero then check if scene has already seen that array has has seen already seen that array has seen already seen that the value or has not if scene has already seen that value don't bother with the rest of the code just continue to the next loop because then we don't want to mess with anything else else if scene does not have that inside of it then push this this temp value to numbers and then we can just skip this then and then scene then push the same value to scene because now we have seen it otherwise if it already does exist instead of numbers then if scene has already seen it it then means it's still in the same array which means we shouldn't manipulate anything it we should just skip the loop but if it's in a different array now then we should worry because then there might be a problem so then we have to remove whatever it is in here that is the same as temp and then once we have finished this entire thing we can just return the numbers array which basically returns this so yeah i hope you all understand that and enjoyed this video thank you all for watching see you all in the next video